leadership, authenticity, bold, compassionate, fearless, innovative. These are just a few of the words that describe the first Latino to lead the California Senate in over 100 years. Please join me in welcoming Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLeon. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Doraka, for all that you do for our party. And I want to thank Chairman Burton for bringing the greatest political party to the happiest place on earth. <laughs> now, it turns out, if you didn't know, and I just found out, that John Burton has a lifetime pass to Disneyland <laughs> because he was the inspiration for the character of Grumpy. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> my fellow Democrats, my fellow Californians. Last Sunday was Mother's Day, and today I stand before you as a proud and fortunate son. The unlikely journey that brought me here began 95 miles south of this podium, in the place called Barrio Logan, in one of the oldest neighborhoods of San Diego. I was raised by a single mother with a third grade education. Against incredible odds, she immigrated to California. A golden beacon of hopes and dreams beckoned her across the border. She raised my sisters and me out of a punishing cycle of poverty and, prov and provided us with a much better life. Every day, she spent hours on a bus going to the top of the hill to clean other people's homes. And every night, she provided care for the elderly. She worked her fingers to the bone to put the roof over our heads, the food on our table, and the clothes on our backs. Now, she's not with us anymore, but I'm here today because of her work ethic and her example. And I'm still struck. And I'm still struck by her sheer courage and confidence in the California dream. Now, I want you all to imagine risking all that you have and leaving all that you know because you believe that there's a place for you where commitment to work will earn you and your family a place on the ladder of prosperity. Now, my mother's story is everything to me. Yet right here in California, Millions of workers, citizens, residents, and yes, the undocumented, clock in and out of farms and factories, walk on to construction sites, and don on their service uniforms to report to do the daily work that drives California's progress. And whether they cross the Atlantic or the Pacific, the Rio Grande or Otay Mesa, whether they came by boat or by foot, whether they arrived during the Great Migration or the Great Depression, whether they built their California home 200 years ago or just two years ago, irrespective of race, religion, and heritage, immigrants are California's secret weapon. They keep California entrepreneurial, innovative, and productive. They expand our workforce and they strengthen the world's seventh largest economy, and they enrich our culture 
and renew our promise of opportunity for all. Now, who are they? They're a teenager from Vietnam who does his homework as he watches his family cash register at the family market in Garden Grove. They're a father from Armenia who works two jobs in the valley, who still takes time to take his daughter to the public library to practice her reading. They're a physician from India who works 18-hour shifts serving hospice care patients in the Bay Area. And yes, they are a single mother with a third grade education who clean houses all day, every day, propelled by the singular selfless aspiration of creating a brighter future for her children. And today's California is a state of advantage and abundance. Not despite, but because we draw strength and spirit from our immigrant community. Now, being a Californian means something greater than how we look, or who we love, or how old we are, or how young we are, or what God we worship, or what our last name is, or what our original last name was. And as Californians, collectively, Democrats together, we have a message for Republicans in Congress. We don't build walls here, we tear them down. Yes, we are a state of laws. And yes, we are a state of immigrants. And it is time, once and for all, that we recognize that these two self-evident truths are not in conflict. They are connected. It is who we are. It's our DNA. Now, as California has long stood at the vanguard of the civil rights movement, the struggle for worker protections equal rights and equal pay for women, and societal equality for our LGBT community. The greatness, the greatness of our golden state has always been measured by how we protect our most vulnerable, the least, the littlest, and yes, the latest. Like Dr. King said, we are all tied by a single garment of destiny. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. And my friends, if California is going to truly be what California ought to be, then our laws must treat all residents with basic rights, dignity, and human justice. Now, as a Senate President, I just don't represent the 24th Senate District. I also represent 24 extraordinary and accomplished leaders who make up the Senate Democratic Caucus. And we believe, and we believe in the principle that people who come here, who love our nation, and who contribute to the California dream deserve to share in it. Now, we all know that that dream hasn't always shined brightly. Our history is marked by periods of darkness, where newcomers were greeted with suspicion, with violence, and discrimination. We segregated them in public spaces. We interned them in times of conflict. We demonized them in political campaigns, and we passed laws to keep their children out of schools and hospitals. But our history, our history is also a great pendulum to any negative action there is always a compassionate and all-encompassing reaction. I'm proud. I'm proud to be part of a generation of community activists who entered public service as a direct reaction to Prop 187. And today, my friends, the pendulum, the pendulum of California is unequivocally pointed toward the arc of justice and equality. Just last year, I was proud to stand with my Democratic colleagues in erasing Proposition 187 from our books. I 
I was proud to stand with my Democratic colleagues in passing the California DREAM Act, giving dreamers access to financial aid, hope, and opportunity. I was proud to stand with my Democratic colleagues in granting licenses, driver's licenses, to any California resident, regardless of their immigration status. And, by the way, 300,000 have been issued, families are less fearful, drivers are now insured, and police officers say our roads are now safer for everyone. Just last month, I was proud to stand with my friend, my colleague, Speaker Tony Atkins, and our Democratic colleagues to introduce the most comprehensive package of immigrant rights legislation ever proposed anywhere in America. These bills will allow California's immigrants to come out of the shadows where they've been forced to toil for much too long. No longer, my friends, no longer. Once again, those tiny ripples of hope start right here in California. With your help as Californians and Democrats, they will grow across the country, inspire the dreams of future generations around the nation and around the world. And they will honor the legacy of my mom and millions of unsung California heroes just like her. And as Bobby Kennedy promised, these ripples will build a current which will one day sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. And we will finally keep faith with the founding promise of this nation that all people are created equal. Thank you. Thank you, California Democrats. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless the California dream. Thank you.